Governments worldwide are embarking on a mission to replace cash with central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs. As this movement gains momentum, people around the world are beginning to awaken to the potential consequences. However, much more awareness is needed. A CBDC is a government-operated crypto token designed to supplant the national currency. It relies on a tracking ledger, essentially a list of who owns what, enabling governments to surveil, control, and dictate every dollar you spend. Imagine a system that could prevent you from purchasing certain items, such as raw milk or gas stoves, or even impede your ability to defend yourself. It could even dictate what you must buy, at the whim of a government bureaucrat. Beyond its Orwellian surveillance capabilities, a CBDC poses an existential threat to the banking system and the US dollar itself. It grants central planners unprecedented control over every aspect of your life, reminiscent of a Soviet-style surveillance state. The opposition against CBDCs is gaining traction. Last week, the right-leaning Austrian Freedom Party lodged a protest against the current left-wing government's disregard for a referendum on the right to use cash. Overwhelmingly, 530,000 Austrians signed a petition in support of the referendum. With CBDCs being promoted globally despite public opposition, clashes to protect people's right to save and spend anonymously with cash are becoming more frequent. We have taken this privilege for granted for far too long, and now it faces the threat of being absorbed into a CBDC, essentially a government-controlled balance sheet that can be surveilled and manipulated at will, turning your money into mere allowance. In fact, a recent poll revealed that the majority of Americans overwhelmingly reject the concept of a CBDC. Opposition increases significantly as people become more informed. For instance, opposition doubles when individuals discover that a CBDC can be used to freeze bank accounts of political protesters. It rises even further when they learn that a CBDC enables governments to monitor their spending. Astonishingly, when people realize that a CBDC grants the government complete control over their spending, opposition skyrockets to a staggering 74%. To put it into perspective, even cholera polls better. So, why do governments persist in pushing CBDCs when their constituents despise them? The answer is simple. CBDCs are irresistible to power-hungry governments eager to monitor and control every financial transaction and manipulate public behavior. Imagine the opportunities for social engineering, reparations, or a China-style social credit system. Moreover, employing a CBDC to punish political opponents allows for the control of speech. This guarantees job security for politicians who prioritize serving the deep state over the people's interests. Governments employ pilot programs to develop CBDCs, claiming they are conducted for research purposes. However, these pilots, which fully functioning CBDCs are built without authorization, need to be halted. Governments shouldn't be allowed to pilot tools that can mass censor political speech. The people control the government, not the other way around. We dictate what they are permitted to pilot. By the way, central banks can carry out these pilots without authorization because they are self-funded, generating their own budgets through their basement money printers. In many countries, central banks operate independently, free from the checks and balances that typically govern the government spending. It's crucial to remain vigilant and raise our voices against the encroachment of CBDCs. The right to financial privacy and freedom is at stake. We must ensure that governments serve the people, not the other way around. Subscribe Libertarian Facts